it's actually a very gorgeous, you know, sight. You know, it makes you appreciate nature. On Saturday, April 24th, Jake Rodenhaber wanted to show his longtime friend and fellow airman, Michael Hemanowski, the view from the Bruno Overlook. The two walked to the left of the lookout on a small trail. Jake lost his uh, footing. The rocks were sliding under, from underneath his feet, which uh, caused him to fall uh, down about 30 feet into a rock pile. Honestly, the last thing I can remember is uh, just watching rocks fall and then slipping and then I completely blacked out. I didn't know whether if he was alive or dead. Figuring his friend had fallen to his death, Himanowski was now worried about his own life. But after trying to get back out the same way, it was too dangerous, so he doubled back. That's when he heard Rodenhaber calling for help. Jake, you gotta trust me. I'm gonna leave you right now, but I promise you I'm gonna get you help. Himanowski finally got back up to Rodenhaber's car, only to realize that the keys were in his friend's pocket. That's when the running began from Bruno Outlook. With no cell service and no building in sight, Himanowski ran. Well, I just took my PT test, and uh, my mile and a half right now is roughly 1020. And with adrenaline on his side, he ran 10 miles in an hour for help. Pure adrenaline. Like, I knew what I had to do. I knew, like I said, time was on against me. And it was just, I wasn't thinking about the pain in my legs. Help was quickly on the way. In the meantime, Rodenhaber slid and fell another 300 feet down the hill. And I looked down at my left leg, and uh, that's when I definitely realized something was wrong because my foot was pointed out in an angle. And uh, I went, oh, well, that ain't good at all. Rodenhaber said he saw a helicopter looking for him, but not in the right spot. A second pass in the cell phone led to the rescue. Pull up my cell phone, click on the light, and I'm just waving it, you know. Eleven hours after he fell, rescue crews pulled him out of the cliff. They also told me I fell close to around 500 feet when it was all said and done you know, hit and rolling and everything else. And no one can honestly, I mean, I feel lucky to be, you know, be here right now. I definitely know I had a guardian angel that day.